are very grateful to God to stand before the children of God, the servants of God this night, to say what God has done for me. Praise the Lord. My name is Margaret Ajibade, and I'm from Ifako, group of districts uh, in, in Lagos here, southwest. Praise the Lord. Uh, as we have been told, I've been suffering from stomach ache since 2019, and it was so great. But God is greater than it. Praise the Lord. Uh, during the complete dominion from Christ, Global could say that Abel Okuta, the Lord healed me. Praise the Lord. It is not only stomach, praise God, not only stomach ache, but with frequent stooling. And when the stooling come up like this, I wouldn't be able to do anything or to go anywhere. And I'll be drinking ORS as water. I was so down, helpless, as if I want to give up. But during this crusade at, I mean, the complete dominion from Christ's global crusade at Abel Okuta in April, the Lord healed me. The Lord visited me. Praise the Lord. Before this time, I've, I've used many medication. And at the same time, I was praying. But when it is time for me, the Lord used our Father in the Lord. As he said, raise one hand up and lay your second hand on wherever you are having a problem. I did so. And since April, by the grace of God, oh, come and see how wonderful peace that I have. Praise the Lord! Our Father and the Lord, I say thank you, sir. The Lord will increase you more and more in thank Jesus' you. name. Praise the Lord. You will share your own testimony anywhere you are tonight in Jesus' name. We now move to social media for more testimonies. It is simply amazing and great what the hand of the Lord is doing through the Global Crusade GCK with Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui. Let's bring you some of the testimonies on social media. From the social media, we have Grace Adenosi sending this in. And then she wrote, praise God, hallelujah. Our daughter is healed from eyes running through, from water running through her eyes. Early in the morning, according to the writing of this person, she, the daughter was having this water running through her eyes with no reason. But after the prayer of the man of God, what seemed to be troubling in that situation was turned around. And the water running in the high ceased, and now she is free. Free and free indeed. We now take you to Asia, China precisely, where we have a testimony. China Live. Hi, my, my name, name is Sister Dong Jinglan from China. China. I'm, I'm so, so grateful for the Global Crusades DCLM has been organizing. During the September version, Divine Solution for All, my waist pain got healed. This pain had been with me for more than six years. For the last eight months or so, the pain had been intensified, and I suffered from morning to night, almost every day. I would wake up by the pain in the midnight, and had to read the Bible and went back to sleep. Persuaded by my family members, I decided to see a Chinese physician. 
he concluded that there was some uterine blood clot as a result of childbearing. According to the expert, this sickness would get worse and worse, and I would feel weaker and weaker as time went by. Having bought a lot of medications, I didn't take any, hoping for the divine healing and deliverance. I came to the program with such great expectation. I said to God, "Please heal me. I believe you are able." After the prayer of the pastor, the waist pain was gone altogether, and many of my problems were solved. Our God is wonderful. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. For Jesus, your testimony happens today. Let's go to the social media for another testimony. Yes, from the social media, I'm bringing you this from Obia Obinna. According to his writing, he was down with malaria. He couldn't go to the church. He wished to participate in the program to come to the church, but he couldn't. And so he connected online. And while the prayer of the man of God was going, according to him, he started feeling something different in him. The symptoms of weakness started wearing out. And by the end of the prayer, according to his writing, he jumped up and shouted, Glory! He received his healing. Malaria disappeared. And we now take you to South South Nigeria, Edo State, live. My, My name, name is Agatha Ero Philip from, from Edo State, Edo State region, Ebuma, Edo State. State. I, I came to testify what God, what God had done for me in Kalabar Kuste, Global Kuste. I had pipe 38 years ago. I had pipe. I've been suffering be so for, for the pie for many years. In that day of that program, I received my healing. And that, that moment of the prayer of man of God, I received my healing. And the pie gone away from me. That is my testimony. Praise the Lord, Daniel Emmanuel. Since 2013, I've been making my region at two states. I want to thank God for what God did for me. I want to thank God for what God did for me. Since 2013, I've been suffering from inflammation of the tonsils. And it was so excruciating and painful. I could not swallow spit. I could not eat or drink water very well. If I want to swallow spit or drink water, it would be very painful. But after Calabar Crusade, I got my healing. I can swallow spit freely. I don't feel any pain. There's no inflammation of tonsils again. Praise the Lord. More testimonies coming your way. As you clap for Jesus, your testimony happens today. We'll take you now to Uyo Akwaibom State live. Praise the Lord. I have, I have Sister Christiana Paul Edith standing by me right now to share the testimony of what the Lord has done for her during this complete Dominion Crusade. She will be sharing in our local language and I'm going to give you the interpretation of it. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ. I am Mero Sister Christiana Paul Edith. Came for our city, our summer young bomb, Osiogi Yoko, and I'm in the Oyen delivery and the Yana. I miss a worship care in Tongba group. I was sitting on Kayan cheese or spray. Damn it, come over, see Kesava Sanama no me. Ke crusades, I could give a gay pesta. In a car, Piaman Piamian, I will mean the organ agar as summer. Upiaman Piamine Tieti, I get over, I mean canan summer. I get a woman can and tear tear. I mean, can and nana. Who be a Roman be a minute to get a free free for me, me back. Who be a Roman be a minute of a free for me, can get a meal back. Who be a Roman be a minute to do. Then for no passy. I mean, Bonnie and I'm the Ega Crusade or Kaiso, who sent a few every each hour ago. Sunday. I mean, Boba Simba, no man fun, means on the can and get war and waddle. Yet, man, go one waddle, one man. 
Abasia manam ke yeng Jesus Christ. Ke bidi ki wang waro emaisyo Jesus nanga na ke cross. Ami mambo Jesus afukan ke dimbi wengon jam yaga nam afona ibiong ke cross om mbang wamien Jesus amang wamien ubi ka do man do mien a ke mbi ka kanan tie man sung tie amen ke kanan danda nyong ke wofok amin ke baga ke kanan na ki song abasia manam. Jangan kita minta yang usah nero, engkau nemu guru mungkin song na, engkau cie, ini ka, udah kafir, agar orang sana pon yang jom jadi nyon, perkem frame ya basa nam, aku mian song, jam ni kau, pran nama kiri bapa yang upah ni ya basa kau yang Jesus, abasa mana pon nama yang kiri pala ibu mian basa mana kau pay brot kiri mian dalam, abasa mian kau gong gong yip, abasa mian nam, engkau pay bawa kau siang ada mian pay, aku pun bawa sekali nama perisian seni kiri. Kau yang hitam baga, apa sih ni? Nama pun korang ingin buang lagi dalam bond, bagaimana nama ini nama indah? Bukan apa sih ni? Nada ruh buang orang di turu ke yang Jesus. What our sister is saying is that actually for the past six years, she says she has been suffering with pains, the joints all over to the point that the legs were wobbling, and the pain was so excruciating. But my last month. Crusade on that Sunday, that faithful Sunday, she came to the crusade, and immediately after that program, all of a sudden, the problem that has lasted for six years just fizzled out. You could see the way she was marching here no pains, no residue of pain anywhere, completely delivered. Praise the Lord. Can I hear you say, I am delivered? Your deliverance will happen tonight. Be expectant because a testimony is coming your way. We go back to the social media for another testimony. From the social media, precisely the GS Facebook page, James Harrison wrote, I'm at the extreme of gladness as my depth of warm forces spontaneously emits sparks of insurmountable joy. As God's boundless ocean of love brought an automatic peace to my former state of ill being and severe itching eyes that caused me pains, unhappiness, and emotional instability. So, simply put, James is saying that he had itching in his eyes, which lasted for a number of years, gave him so much trouble, but last night, while the man of God was praying, according to him, he laid his hand on the eyes. And after the final amen, again, something still remains special about that final amen. Absolutely. After, after that final amen, an object, according to him, two inches long came out of the eyes. And since then, till now, every pain, itching is gone. The eyes can clearly see. And uh, such a testimony that could make James Harrison compose such wonderful catalog of grammar. You will know that this is indeed what God has done. That's right. That happened yesterday. When is your miracle? On social media, on YouTube, on Zoom, when is your miracle? It's happening now, as we finally take this testimony from the United Kingdom, live. Okay, my name is Joy Okewa from, from United Kingdom, Kingdom. place to reach yeah, on. Yeah, uh, the Lord has revived me through this crusade and have done massive things in my life and my family. But um, I, I will only be able to share one at the moment. Um, Sometime in January, my uh, sister-in-law uh, wanted to wait, and uh, the husband caught COVID in Dubai and was unable to travel to Nigeria, but, and she was weeping, crying that the wedding would not hold. So I told her, why the crusade is going on, tell your husband to join. God had done it before, and COVID had wiped away. And so they did. Two days later, the husband went for COVID test, and... Everything disappeared. The result came back negative. Praise the Lord. And now it's your turn as we invite Pastor Anthony Ojo, who is a missionary in the Netherlands. He has a special introduction of the man of God. 
Praise the Lord. Once, Once again, again, it's another, another great time, time in the presence of God as we celebrate one year of God's glory in the global crusades, anchored by the convener, our beloved Pastor Dr. Dovier Kumui. On this fourth day of our celebration, I am very excited as I join our wonderful brethren from where I am in this continent of Europe, and of course from all other parts of the world to bring you the reenactment of the powerful ministration by our Father in the faith as it happened live from Jalingo, Taraba State, Nigeria. This day there will be the manifestation of God's glorious promises upon you. It is a day of restoration and recovery. It is a day you will say goodbye to affliction and anguish. You will trample the devil under your feet. Today is a day of God's compassion, and it will make all things possible unto you as you stretch out your hand in faith to receive as the man of God ministers. Here we have a man with God's signature upon him to bring supernatural signs into the lives of the suffering and the sinful. Here is a man God has used and is using to bring the message of transformation and hope into the lives of multitudes. And you are one of them. This same man will release God's power and glory into your life tonight. Your sorrow will turn into joy. Your night will turn into day. The light of laughter will replace your darkness of weeping. Please rise up and help me welcome the man appointed by God, anointed by God, and approved of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. You're welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Manifestation tonight. Libration tonight. And as our pastor said, jubilation tonight. And the Lord confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. First day, second day, third day, and this is day number four. Something. North, south, east, west, everyone, something will happen to you. And the power of God will descend upon you. There be the manifestation of the glory of God in your life in Jesus' name. Whatever you have had before, salvation, miracle, power, glory, honor, and something, somebody took that away from you. Everything stolen from you, you recover tonight. Strength, you recover tonight. And everything promised by the Lord concerning you tonight is the night of recovery in your life in Jesus' name. Let's pray together, Father. We well, thank you. We well, bless your name today. And we're asking, Lord, you send forth your power. And you send forth the manifestation of your promises on every life tonight. In Jesus' name. Recovery for everyone. Restoration for everyone. The fulfillment of your promise for everyone. In divine touch. In every life tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I'm not going to release you to sin until you give me a supernatural liberation. Amen. You've got it and you will give testimony in Jesus' name. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight as we come. We're talking about miracles. Mighty miracles through Christ, our liberator, is the one that has come to set us free, to set you free. Any yoke broken tonight, every chain broken tonight, every cause taken out of your life tonight, in Jesus' name, mighty 
Miracles through Christ, our library to in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. Reading from verse 22. Acts, chapter 2, verse 22. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you as ye yourselves also know. Those three words there, miracles, wonders, and signs which God did through him or by him as ye yourselves also know. You will know it experientially tonight. It will be your experience. You'll be a possessor. You'll be a partaker in Jesus' name. Verse 39 says, The promise is unto you. The promise is unto me. The promise is unto me. Every promise the Lord has given for you to have the miracle working power operating in your life. That promise is yours for fulfillment tonight. Yeah. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Look at that verse. It says you. You'll be a partaker of the miracle power tonight. Your children, our children, the young ones, they'll be partakers of the miracle power tonight and all that are far off are far off from the alpha location of this crusade in every part of our country here and in every part of the continent of Africa and beyond Africa all that are far off even as many as many as many anywhere everywhere the Lord our God shall call now, the message tonight is straightforward and very simple. And I'm going to look at the word miracles so that you can tell the mighty miracles that will come upon your life. M, merciful manifestations multiplied. Multiplied everywhere, here and every place. I, incredible impartation immediate. Christ comes like he always did the same yesterday, today, and forever. And then incredible impartation immediate in your life. Our repentant returnee received. It was returning from the far country. It was returning from where he had gone. And immediately he came back. The father received him. The father will receive you tonight. Wherever you have gone, whatever you have done, whatever atrocities and evil you have committed, as you return tonight, the repentant returnee is received. A, alien afflictions alleviated. All the foreign afflictions, where is this coming from? We never saw anything like this before. A family never saw anything like this before. Tonight, all those alien afflictions alleviated, take it away from your life in Jesus' name. See, confirmed cures countless. Confirmed, the person there, your cure is confirmed. The person over there, your cure is confirmed. And then you left somebody at home and you remember, is that your mother? Is that your wife? Is that your husband? Is that that child that is bedridden tonight? Confirmed Kios countless, and then L lonesome lepers liberated. The lepers that are lonely and lonesome, nobody will allow them to come near tonight. The Lord will liberate everyone. E endangered epileptics emancipated. Somebody has epileptics, his life is endangered, and the epileptic spirit will throw him into the fire and into the water. Tonight, uh, you have 
emancipated, completely delivered in Jesus' name. Yes, sorry, sinners saved. Sorry, not only that they are sorrowful, but they are sorry for what they have done. And they come before the Lord and will say, Lord, we've gone astray. We've done what we shouldn't have done. And we know the consequence upon our lives. Sorry, sinners, saved. That's what you are looking at today. And in those uh, lies that I read to you now, you are somewhere there and you are going to get your miracle. <laughs> Let's look at them one by one. Em merciful manifestations multiplied here is a man that came he was asking for mercy it's in mark chapter 10 mark chapter 10 verse 46 and he came to jericho and as they went out of jericho with his disciples and a great number of people blind but Timaeus, the son of Timaeus sat by the wayside highway begging and then he tells us in verse 47 it says and when he heard that it was jesus of nazareth he began to cry out and say jesus thou son of david have mercy on me and he had mercy on him and you tonight he will have mercy upon you he loves you and he does not want you to remain in that blindness and because of that you will see tonight by mercy not by merit by mercy it will open your blind eyes have mercy on me in verse 48 it says and many judged him that they should hold his peace but he cried the more a great deal he said I am getting it tonight. Are you there? I am getting it tonight. I said, are you there? You are getting it tonight in Jesus' name. And they wanted to silence him, shut his mouth, and beat him down. He cried the more a great deal. And he's repeating the same thing. He said, what I'm looking for is mercy, thou son of David. Have mercy on me. Have mercy mercy on me there is mercy for the blind today Amen. manifestation for the blind today and it is going to be multiplied in many many places over here at the alpha location you'll have mercy on you your blind eyes will open Amen. over there in all the various locations there is a multiplication of this manifestation of mercy that opens the eyes of the blind, it will happen tonight. And then we're told in verse 49, verse 49, and Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. He said, come, you are the called of the Lord. Your eyesight is failing and the Lord is calling you tonight. He said, come, your eyesight will brighten up. You are totally dim and dark and it's like you cannot see near, you cannot see far. It's calling you tonight. Manifestation of mercy will give you your eyesight back in Jesus' name. Cataract has stolen your sight. Glaucoma has stolen your sight. Or maybe an accident, somebody, something that pinched you has stolen your sight. That sight that have been stolen from you today, you will recover in Jesus' name. And then they call the blind man, saying, Be of good comfort. He rise, he calleth thee. Verse 50, it says, And he, casting away his garment, the badge of blindness, he rose and he came to Jesus. In verse 51, and Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? That's the question coming to you today. What do you want? Why are you here tonight? What manifestation of mercy are you asking for tonight? As to tell him tonight, 
He will do it. He will do it. Then he said that I should receive my sight. When he said that in verse 52, the Lord Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. He received his sight. You are receiving your sight. Blindness is going tonight. Glaucoma is going tonight. And all those things that block your sight, they'll be removed tonight. You will be whole in Jesus' name. And then he followed Jesus in the way. I come to the next one now. That is I. Incredible impartation immediate. Incredible. What's going to happen to you tonight? Incredible. He'll make the impossible possible in your life. It will turn everything around. You will never be the same again. Look at Mark chapter 2. In Mark chapter 2, we're looking at verse 3. And they come unto him, bringing one seek of the palsy, which was born of four. The man was so sick, he couldn't even use crutches, and they stretched him up on a stretcher. And then at each corner of the stretcher, a man stood there, and they had to carry him. Even if they carried you there tonight, you are rising up in Jesus' name. The power from on high will come upon you there. You will rise up in Jesus' name. Look at verse uh, look at verse 4 there in verse 4 and when they could not come nigh unto him for the praise because of the crowd. Even if you are the far back and then you are not able to come near now, at the end of this message, when the mercy of God will be manifested to you, you will rise up. By yourself, you will walk from that back place. You'll walk to the front in Jesus' name. I see you with my spiritual eyes. I see you coming. I see you receiving the miracle. And then it says, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let him down. They let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. And then in verse 5, it says, When Jesus saw their faith. When Jesus saw their faith. How do you see the faith of somebody? Well, you can tell if somebody is sad and gloomy and sorrowful, you can see the doubt on his face. You can see the sorrow on his face when he hears that Jesus is here and Jesus is going to work miracle. Then he smiles, then he cheers up, he lifts up his eyes, and you can see the brightness that the faith we're talking about. There is expectation from the heart. There's a desire from the heart. And that he knows that as we say the final amen, it's like stretching out your hand and you catch it. That's the faith. I see that faith on you there. Look at him there. Look at him there. Look at her there. I see that faith and that faith will get the miracle of God tonight in Jesus' name. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee. Thy sins be forgiven thee. Tonight, he will forgive your sin. Tonight, he will take all the guilt and all the condemnation. He'll take everything away in Jesus' name. Look at verse 9. In verse 9, now, the Lord is going to heal the man. Like the Lord is going to heal you tonight. Whether it's easier, which one is easier to say to the sick of the palsy, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, arise and take up thy bed and walk. Verse 10, then Jesus said, but that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He says to the sick of the palsy. Look at verse 11. In verse 11, I say unto thee, 
It doesn't have to come and touch you. It doesn't have to come and shake you. It doesn't have to pull you up. It's what alone. Do you understand? It is the word of God that created the whole universe. He said, let there be light and there was light. Let there be and there will be. Let there be healing and there will be healing everywhere. And immediately the word of God is pronounced tonight. Healing on my right hand side that will take place. Healing in front of me that will take place. Healing at the left that will take place. And you will see the joy and the jubilation of the recipients of miracles tonight in Jesus name. I say unto thee, arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. Look at verse 12, and immediately he arose, and he took up the bed, and went forth before them all, insomuch that they were all amazed. Your family will be amazed when you get back home tonight. And the people who knew you before, seeing the mighty change and the great miracle, they were amazed and they glorified God, saying, We never saw age on this fashion in your life. We never saw age in this fashion. On your child there, we never saw age on this fashion. That's what it will, it will happen tonight. I said to you, to your family, and to everyone participating with us, everywhere all over the globe, that is what will happen tonight. I, incredible impartation, immediate. Now we come to the next one, which is our. And this is repentant returnee received. This is the man who had led home, who had led the father. And it's the story of the one who has gone far away from God. He's gone into the far country and he's made himself useless. He spent everything that he had bought. He said, why am I here? Why am I like this? I am going back to my God. You are coming back to your God tonight. You are coming back to the Savior tonight. You are coming back to the Redeemer tonight. Miracle are repentant, returnee, receive. Look at Luke chapter 15, verse 14. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And then in verse 17, in verse 17, and when he came to himself, and when his senses came back, and he said, I could have forgiveness, I could have freedom, I could have reception, I could have regeneration, I could have redemption from the Lord. Why am I here? Then he said, how many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. Then in verse 17, he said, I will arise, I will arise and go to my father and say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. Then in verse 19, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. In verse 20, it says, and he arose. He decided, I will arise. He acted it out and he arose. He had the intention, I will arise. And he followed the intention with action. When your action follows your intention, a miracle will happen in your life. When your decision follows your desire, restoration, salvation, will happen in your life. That's the time the Heavenly Father will forgive you. That's the time Christ who died for you on the cross of Calvary will save your soul. He arose and he came to his father. 
but when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him. The father has seen you there. He knows your tears. He knows your sorrow. He knows your heartache. He knows your problem as you are coming and you are saying, this is my heavy load and this is my problem and this guilt and this condemnation and this suffering because of my sin. He has seen all you are thinking about and forgiveness is waiting for you. Salvation is waiting for you. And then we're told he had compassion and he ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. In verse 21, the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Verse 22 tells us, but the father said unto his servants, bring forth the best robe and put on him and put the ring of authority on his hand and shoes on his feet. And in verse 23, it says, And bring the hither, the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. Heaven is rejoicing because of you tonight. Joy in heaven for you. Because the repentant returnee is now received of the Lord. In verse 24, it says, for this my son was dead and is alive again. You were dead in sins and trespasses, but praise the Lord, you are alive in Christ again tonight in Jesus' name. 